buddy of mine came up with a, a Kirk mask, we all know what that is, that he'd like to, to convert into a shape mask done just the way it was done back in the day, uh, before Halloween in pre-production of the original Halloween. And uh, I agreed to do that. And I have it here today. My man's name is Colby. Shout out to Colby. This is Colby's mask. Today we're going to do the conversion. Who else to do the conversion on a Shatner mask than the guy who did it for the film, uh, Tommy? It's a nice Kirk replica, and uh, it'll be interesting to see the process of exactly how Tommy converted it back in the day. This has been something that's been kind of going around for years and probably your most asked question at conventions, right? It was a very simple matter of taking an existing mask and modifying it in a couple of ways and uh, painting it and uh, changing the hair color. But that's all there was to that. Um, and a good thing came out of it because none of us were prepared for the effect when this, I'm sorry, innocuous mask, innocent looking mask, got just those few touches done to it. As we all know, the effect before we even got to a story, the effect was damn scary. It was an unbelievably terrifying visceral effect. Uh, and we knew we were in business, that uh, we were gonna have a scary movie even before we got to a scary story. As I recall, I did the hair first and probably didn't use much in the way of masking. That is, in fact, streaks and tips. It's trying to bunch up. You see little patches in there where the blonde is still happening. Actually, that seems to add to the depth of it. So we're, we're in the ballpark now, and we'll do a little more touching up when we're all done. Next, peel off the sideburns, peel off the eyebrows. This stuff is stuck on with some quality glue. That should help it come, come off. Back in the day, when this all came off, I was moving at the speed of light. I imagine I did the whole process from start to finish in about half an hour or 45 minutes tops. It's starting to get uh, shape-like on us. The minute those sideburns go away, you start to see them. Okay, on to eyebrow time. We just uh, soak those bad boys. Why not? Now we're down to a couple of eye holes. They're rather crudely done. They don't look like factory work. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They look like hand-done eye holes. Anyway, that's starting to look like that might be about the right size. Cut the main line out with scissors and then any meaningful trims I did with an exacto knife. Kids, always make sure your hands are as clean as mine when you work with a delicate <laughs> project like this. It wasn't much shaping there, it was just almond shaped, football shaped. I hope I don't disappoint anyone when they find out I know almost nothing about mask making. Remember on, on Halloween we were Everyone on the show was doing 10 jobs. I didn't really know precisely the parameters of a production designer's job. So I was surprised later to learn that most production designers don't also go out and find every location and, <laughs> you know, uh, do the masks and do the costumes and do the cars and all the other things that, that seemed necessary just to get the job done. It's looking good. It's starting to get that scare power that I like. Thanks to a little magic from Sean, he sanded down a little, few little bumps in the eye holes there. All right, comes next, a little bit of masking. Let's put a shower cap on the dude. The original was Krylon Appliance White. Krylon makes their appliance white hard to find. So I went to Ace for their appliance white. And turns out, guess who makes Ace Appliance White? Tommy, tell me who. Bing. And they're off. We had, uh, you know, four weeks to shoot, and it had to last that long. We weren't thinking a minute past that. Certainly weren't thinking of the 
phenomenon that has grown up over this over this guy. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to pull a few hairs, trim that up. But if you're doing this with lighting rather than trying to build shadows in, then it's an advantage to have it be a consistent all white because then the lighting is doing that. Let's see, just a couple of little details. I'd like to round around that hairline a little bit. Oh look, that softened that up really nicely. Boy, it certainly has taken me back. This stark white is a look you just don't see at these festivals. You just don't see it. And yet it was it was how we made the movie. Now I do think I will put a very slight little matte finish just to knock the slight shininess on. I, that's fair game because that's certainly what the what Dean and his crew did on several occasions once they got started. Just a little bit. Just knock a few of those highlights off. All right, we will we'll primp and fuss and mess, but essentially we're there.